G'day and welcome to this short presentation on reading an academic article. My name's Ian Robertson. The sort of language that you would expect to find in the articles you might read as part of your study can be described according to a set of categories. Public articles are the sorts of language that you typically would find in a newspaper or magazine. Student articles are those which are specifically designed to meet the needs of students. Vocational discipline language is used, but it is explained often in some detail. Practitioner-based articles use the professional language of the vocation without explanation, and in this regard they're more difficult to read than student-led articles. Academic articles are different again from practitioner-based articles in that they use the language of academia. These can be very difficult to access without some sort of training. So I hope these few tips might help you to wade your way through the difficulty of reading academic articles. Firstly, you're not alone. Many, if not most people, have difficulty reading academic articles. The difficulty here is that you need to get used to the sort of language and style of the academic environment. It's different. To the professional language, the student language and the public language. So expect to have some trouble and keep working with it. Remember that academic reading is a skill that you can develop but it may require time. Have a think about the level at which you can read. Go to the library, access a range of different sources, find readings that are at a level that suits you and read quite broadly. But remember to go outside of your comfort zone and to stretch yourself a bit. Tip 3 is about how to read the academic article. And I'm suggesting you need to read on a number of occasions. On the first occasion, just read it from start to finish. Don't stop. Don't worry if you don't understand it. Just keep going. On the second reading, read a bit more carefully. Identify the words or phrases that you don't understand. Look them up. Find out what their meaning is. But don't lose that information. Get yourself a small pocketbook and develop your own dictionary where you take words or phrases that you don't understand and put them into your own words. Tip 4 is about getting support. You might be able to form your own reading group. Sometimes it's easier if two or three people read the same piece. Talk about what you think it means. What's difficult about it? Which are the words that you don't understand? Is there a common trend? Help each other. At RMIT University, you can go to the Learning Lab online and I've provided you with the URL. Here you can get specific advice on reading. If that doesn't help, go to an on-campus session and there's a link there to provide you with access to information on what sessions are available to you. Remember, you're not alone. Finally, when also all else fails, don't panic. Don't get frustrated and remember that you can do it. <laughs>